for being here at 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, we will um, be entertaining 10 minutes for each of these talks and a video presentation at the end. If the talks are less than uh, 10 minutes, we will take questions from the audience. And I would like to introduce my uh, co-moderator, uh, Mr. Michael Bailey from uh, London in the UK. So as you'll notice, we, we actually both talk funny. Um, so the first paper is Elective Laparoscopic versus Open Colectomy for Symptomatic Diverticulosis, an Analysis of ACS Nesquip Database. And the speaker is uh, Dr. Kakala. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, how do we go to the next slide? Uh, my topic is on elective laparoscopic versus uh, open colectomy for symptomatic diverticulosis. It's an analysis of ACS uh, Nesquip database. Uh, so diverticulosis, uh, it is a very common in westernized uh, population, uh, population. It is, uh, the instance is 30% uh, by age 60 and it is up to 60% by age 80. Uh, it is symptomatic in 20% of the patient, patients and uh, requires operation in up to 1%. Uh, laparoscopy is uh, widespread use in oncological colorectal surgery. It may be associated uh, with less post-operative uh, complications. Uh, there are quite a few papers published comparing the oncological data, but there are, uh, there are some papers about diverticulosis, but not many. So our aim is to compare early post-operative outcomes uh, in uh, uh, outcomes of laparoscopic and open colorectal dissections for symptomatic colonic diverticular disease in elective setting. So we collected data from ACS Nesquip uh, database. It is uh, uh, by American College of Surgeons. It is a first uh, nationally validated risk adjusted outcome based program to measure and improve surgical quality. Uh, there are around 222 hospitals uh, in this database uh, so far and uh, they collect data on 136 perioperative variables. Based on these variables, we can conclude 30-day morbidity and mortality. So we collected data from uh, Nesquip uh, from 2005 to 2008. Uh, we used the ICD codes for diverticulosis and diverticulitis, and uh, we used the CBD codes for open colectomy and the lab colectomy, and we excluded the emergency operations so that we can evaluate the elective operations. So the, we collected data on uh, many patient variables, uh, including uh, age, sex, and uh, comorbidities, including uh, diabetes, smoking, alcohols, uh, hypertension, CHF, COPD, dyspnea, uh, history of myocardial infarction, uh, previous coronary in interventions, uh, history of cardiac surgery, angina, peripheral vascular disease, renal failure, hemodialysis, impaired sensorium, and all those in, um, in neurological uh, comorbidities, and also history of bleeding disease and uh, history of steroid use. Uh, we also collected data on uh, perioperative uh, variables, including ASA class, operative time, and also reoperation. Uh, we collected data on postoperative variables, including pneumonia, reintubation, pulmonary embolus, failure to be in from ventilator, renal failure, uh, urinary tract infection, myocardial infection. Uh, significant bleeding requiring transfusion, uh, deep vein thrombosis, sepsis and septic shock, mortality, and also length of stay. So we divided the outcomes into uh, four categories. Uh, first one is the serious morbidity. This includes organ space infection, uh, wound dehiscence, bleeding requiring transfusion, uh, ventilator dependence more than 48 hours, sepsis and septic shock, cardiac arrest, uh, myocardial infarction in the post-operative period, pulmonary embolism, uh, stroke, progressive or acu acute renal insufficiency. Uh, the second category is overall morbidity. It, it includes serious, serious morbidity or one of the following, including uh, uh, superficial surgical site infection, deep surgical site infection, pneumonia, unplanned intubation, peripheral neurological deficit, UTI, and DVT. Uh, the third group is uh, wound complications. These include uh, superficial, deep, and organ space uh, surgical site infections. And the fourth uh, outcome is uh, mortality. 
So we had around uh, 7,600 uh, cases uh, from the database, and uh, we divided it into two groups. The open group had 3,870, and the laparoscopic group has 3,759. So when we compare the patient factors, uh, uh, the open group are significantly older by four years almost uh, with a p-value of 0 0.001. Uh, there are more males uh, in open group than um, um, laparoscopic group. And also there is significant difference in BMI, even though the difference is not much because of the number, uh, it came out as significant. So when we compare the comorbidities, majority of the comorbidities are significantly higher in the open group. Uh, when you look at the diabetes, smoking, alcohol, COPD, ascites, uh, congestive heart failure, history of uh, coronary interventions, uh, cardiac surgery, angina, hypertension, pressure vascular disease. Uh, to continue more, uh, renal, renal complications also um, higher in the preoperative group uh, and also um, history of stroke in the, in the past. So we compared the ASA classification and uh, if you look at this table, uh, you can conclude that open group are relatively sicker than uh, a laparoscopic group when you compare the comorbidities. Uh, there are 56, uh, 50, almost 57% in ASA class two and 36% 30, in ASA class three. Uh, even when you compare the laparoscopic group, they have 71% uh, in um, ASA class two and 20% in uh, ASA class three. So this is the main slide uh, I think uh, we need to concentrate. Um, when we compare the complications, uh, the mortality rate is 0.29% in laparoscopic group and 0.83% uh, in uh, open group. And uh, it is significantly different. Uh, the p-value is 0 0.002. Uh, the odds ratio is 2.8. Uh, when we are comparing the op overall morbidity, um, it is also significant. Uh, there is 23% uh, morbidity in open group and 11% uh, morbidity in uh, laparoscopic group. This is also significant and the odds ratio is 2.24. Uh, serious morbidity, 10% up, up to 11% in uh, open group and 4.6% in laparoscopic group. P-value is also significant and the odds ratio is 2.5. Uh, wound complications up to 17.5% in uh, open group and 9.12% uh, in uh, laparoscopic group. This is also significant. So uh, we are comparing two different groups because uh, there is a uh, significant difference in the preoperative comorbidities. So we ran uh, logistic regression, um, uh, stepwise binary logic, uh, logistic regression. When we did the, uh, uh, this uh, analysis, uh, there is no difference between laparoscopic and open group uh, when we compare the open uh, procedure. Uh, the only significant fa factors for mortality are um, peripheral vascular disease, history of peripheral vascular disease, history of previous coronary interventions, history of steroid use, and uh, hypertension. But in the uh, rest of the groups, uh, oral morbidity, serious morbidity, and com uh, wound complications, the open group significantly has uh, more occurrence of these uh, um, complications. Uh, the other preoperative factors that lead to oral morbidity are the smoking, COPD, previous coronary intervention, hypertension, and the, the factors leading to serious morbidity are insulin-dependent diabetes, smoking, alcohol, COPD, history of previous coronary intervention, hypertension, steroid use, bleeding disease, and also female sex. Uh, when we did the analysis for wound complications, the other factors apart from the procedure that are significant are history of smoking, COPD, and hypertension. So we also compared the operative time in laparoscopic groups. The operative time is higher, which is expected. It is up to 176 minutes. And uh, in our open group, it is 166.65 minutes. It is significantly different. The p-value is less than 0 0.001. When we compare the length of stay, um, uh, the, it is also significantly different in the open group. It is uh, higher uh, with 7.8 days, and uh, in laparoscopic group, it is 4.77 days. But this, uh, this includes uh, the patients with more, more co comorbidities in open group. So our conclusions are open colectomy group has significantly higher comorbidities. Um, open colectomy is associated with a significantly higher instance of wound complications, serious morbidity, and overall morbidity after statistical analysis of the data. 
And uh, when we analyze, analyze further, there is no significant difference noted in mortality rate between both groups. Uh, operative time is significantly higher in laparoscopic group as expected, uh, but the length of stay is significantly lower. So our limitations are, this is a, a data collection from Nesquip. Uh, this includes only perioperative variables only. Um, there is no data on conversions like the choice of operation and also conversion from laparoscopic to open uh, um, surgery. And there is also no data on long-term complications, including readmissions, uh, and also long-term complications like uh, late uh, signs of leak and all this stuff. Okay. Thank you. Right. Got five, five seconds. Do you know why the choice was made to be either open or laparoscopic? Was that apparent? No, it cannot be assessed in an ESCO right. database, yes. Good, thank you. Okay, very well to time. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Questions? Time's gone. Thank you. Nice presentation.